Good morning, everyone. Uh, so I have a few other items uh, for the new Diamond Press launch on MyDiamondPress.com. These items were sent free of charge for my review, and all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box are affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. Of course, with Diamond Press, it's not so much the link, it's the code VCDP that gives you 20% off your purchase, and that is an affiliate code for Vietti Creates for me. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for using that. Um, and thank you, Diamond Press, for offering that generous 20% uh, discount code for viewers. So um, I have a few items left here and I was just, you know, kind of thinking what I want to do. I think today we'll do a little different something. I did want to show you what they are or tell you what they are so that you have an idea. Again, these items will be available on the 17th. Um, I will have the link to Diamond Press's Facebook, uh, which I've had in all the videos, but I think I failed to mention it. So it's there. Um, you can get a little more information there before the 17th. But um, we have Enjoy the Ride, which is a stamp and die kit that's um, a little bicycle and things like that. We have the Exploding Box, um, the three pocket tags, Be Mine, I think. I'm sorry, pocket tags, Be Mine. The three isn't, uh, I don't think it's about that, but we'll see. So I'm going to do that one today. And then we have one other item that I'll be um, checking out for you guys the Slimline Dimensional Kit called Celebrate. So, let me open this guy up. Sorry, I put the items down. They made a little bit of a louder noise than I would like, so I edited that out. Or I probably will edit that out. Uh, let's put this. All right. Oh, how sweet. So I can see already it's a tag with like a pocket. Um, but let me put this to the side. Let's open this. Okay, sorry, I was just reading something. Okay, so we have all our pieces here. So we have the dies again to make like a pocket, to make a tag, um, lots of other shapes, the word um, celebrate, the word happy. I am getting much better. Oh, the balloon with this little uh, string, that's so cute. Uh, we have uh, a cutting folder, of course. Oh, that's like little confetti, little stars. And then we'll look at the stamps. Super cute, sweet set. So we have like a little background stamp, which is a really adorable thing to have there. So you can decorate either you know your envelope or or pocket, should I say, or you know the tag itself. Um, the little candles. So all these are kind of sized so that they would fit right on there, right? That is so cute. So the candles, obviously, this is the layers for the candles, but um, I showed those two different things there. Super cute birthday. Uh, your special day, birthday boy, happy birthday, here's to celebrating you from to give the... Cue the confetti. I was going to say, give the confetti, you guys, I'm telling you. My glasses better come in real soon. <laughs> Alright, we have surprise, make a wish. Woohoo! Oh, that's so cute. Happy birthday to you, let's party. It's your day, let's celebrate. And then of course, birthday girl. And then we have the little um, decorative pieces or layers for the hat, uh, which we have the die for here. Oh, a little cupcake. And then there's a little cherry you can also stamp there. Surprise, a um, lot of fun little things that you can stamp. And then this is for your gift um, and layering the gift um, pieces. That is so cute. And then we have some information here. So let's check this out. And pretty simple, you know, it says cut a pocket out of cardstock, cut your tag, uh, you apply the adhesive on the tabs, of course, uh, and then you made your little pocket, and you can put that part, you can use it however you want, if you want to put it with the, I would use it this way, a little more decorative with that little notch in the front, but if you want to flip it around the other way, of course, you can do that too, and then decorate up your tag. How cute! I love all the little pieces here. Did I miss that? Oh, here it is, a little circle die. This is really sweet because you can use all these pieces on cards if you don't want to make a tag or however you want to do that. Look at that. So cute. Oh, okay. I said confetti, but you know what? Well, it could be used as that, I suppose, but it's supposed to be another string. That is adorable. I love that. All right. And then lots of um, ideas on how to use this. That's really great. Got a little tongue tied. Right, well, <laughs> say, let me grab some colorful paper and I'll be right back. I don't know what came out of my mouth instead of colorful paper. Well, that's tough. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so to start, I'm going to cut the uh, pocket and I want to do the um, little confetti. So I have that on a block here already and then we'll cut it out. And I have a full piece of paper here so I just want to see 
we want to stamp this area or however. If you want to cut down your paper, let me cut it. Well, no, I'm just going to leave it for now. But <laughs> I'm going to stamp on about this side over here just to give myself some room, obviously, to cut this out. I'm going to use my stamping mat. And I have a fuchsia color here. Just it's like a tone-on-tone -tone stamping. And I'm going to stamp this. Just so that the, the length of it, the height of it, is going up and down, and then we have our width here. But give us our, some room for that die. And I'll put it like this. So cute. Oh, look at the little stars and little dots. That is adorable. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just eyeball this. And it's plenty generous so that it's going to hit all the areas, which is really great. Um, I could probably give myself a little too much room over here, but that's okay, we will do that. And put our little tape. I'm going to cut this down a little bit and get that through the uh, marquee. And I'll be right back. Got that little cutie popped out. Um, and I'm just going to cut another one out just to show you, I mean, you don't have to do the decoration. You just have something that you'd like. Like I have this little scrub paper that just happens to be perfect size for this. And it's cute paper, so I can just line this up and kind of see what I'm doing. And that's probably a good spot for the die, like right there. Oh, look at the little arrows. I didn't even think of that. I just saw the scrap when I was looking for the uh, other papers. I'm going to run that through. So I know my little gal, she has a little squeak. And what's funny is, and she has tape on her because I don't have a place to put my tape anymore since I got a new tripod. Um, it's not coming from here. That little squeaky noise was here. And I put oil. Um, just a little cuticle oil. <laughs> but um, you, I have machining oil for like uh, typewriters and things, but most people don't have that. But uh, if you have a little squeaky problem, I hear people are using a lot of different kinds of oils. So that's up to you, I suppose. Um, you know. All right, so uh, what I'm going to do is just fold on these. Look at that little dotted line. I love that. I mean, it's a lot easier than just like a score line, but that's really sweet. A little dotted line. And look at that. Perfect. So again, you put your little um, glue here and here. And so I'll do that. And then I'll grab some paper to do the stamping so we can decorate the front of our uh, little pocket here. Just glue there. Some glue down here. If you're using a wet glue, I would say step. You know, try to stay away from the very edge so you don't end up gluing your pocket shut, but you can do it like that. If you're going to stick this to a card, you can even, um, I would think that you can even glue these over the edge if you wanted to, but, you know, just glue them on the inside <laughs> as normal would be great too. I'm going to glue this one. And just to give you an idea about how big this is, this is a card, a standard A2 size card, so if you want to put that on a card, you can definitely do that. And it is two by two and three quarters, I would say, inches. Two by two and three quarters. Okay, I'll be right back. There's so many combinations to do with this. It's so, I mean, there's just, <laughs> I was looking at it like, oh, I'd love to do the cupcake, but you know, maybe we want to do the layering um, just to show you here on uh, camera. I mean, you can do the little candles. You can even cut them out. I forgot to mention that the candles had a cut out and also the, um, yeah, the little gift and all those things have a little cutout for them. I mean, there's a lot. So let's see. I think I am going to do a layering. It's going to be something like this, and it's even pink. But um, So what I'm going to do is cut out our tag from white paper. Cut out this little doily, cutie pie, from the white paper. And we're also going to do the stamping on here. But I'm going to cut these pieces out, and then we'll do our stamping, and then we'll cut out our little gift. I'll be right back. Okay, super easy, just rolls right through to our little tag. We'll decorate that in a minute. Aww, look at that cute little seal. You can stamp all kinds of things in that uh, for other projects. Um, so then we'll do the stamping. And let me see if this paper... I picked out two different colors of pink, just to keep it all pink. <laughs> and... I'm going to use a stamp positioner, but um, I think these are easy enough where you can probably just see through them and not have a problem with that. But I'm going to put that there. And since this stamp positioner doesn't really have a way to keep paper still, I'm just going to tape it down here somewhere just to help me not move it just in case. And I think I'm going to make the, the gift itself light pink. 
and then the bow, the darker pink. And I want to give ourselves room to cut again, so I'll leave that just about there is fine. And I'm going to use pink tulip. And I'm going to do it one more time, just because it's a new stamp. There we go, nice and pink. And let me move that and clean this off. And then we'll use the other accent. So when you're looking at stamps like this, and you know, this is, has to be so far away from me, but they are beveled, you know, a lot of times. So it's like thicker at the top and then it bevels down into the stamp area. So this is smaller than what you're looking at. So just kind of pay attention to that when you go to place them. Um, and you'll have a better, a little better placement. That looks pretty good. Oop. Ooh, that fuchsia is bright. Aw, that's pretty good. Do it one more time. Okay, let me clean this up and we'll get the appropriate dye and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm um, just the same piece of tape here and we'll get our little guy. And this one's easy enough to see through, but again, if you want to cut yourself an aperture, you can definitely do that. I think that'll be good. Right there. And I'll run that through. I think that's all I need for this one. Maybe some little decoration for our tag itself. So let me just... So cute. So let me grab some adhesives and things and we'll put it together. Okay, so we can do this and have a nice, just, you know, plain white uh, tag that goes in here. Super cute and it holds on nice and tight. So that's really nice. But um, I was going to do a little more decorating on this one. Just the same confetti. I'll use this mat that's well loved. So it gets that over stamping and I'm just going to use the pink tulip. I'm not sure what part we'll get on there, but let's just put some here. Aw, maybe some up here. There we go. Just a little something else. And then I'll use the to and from and I'll stamp those. Um, I'll clean this up and I'll stamp the to and the from on here and I'll be right back. Okay, you can bring all our pieces back together here and I'm just gonna pop this down. I think I'll pop up the little gift. Super sweet, so you can do as little or as much as you like. Mix it up there. I love this little die right here. Especially. And then I'll just pop a dimensional adhesive on the back of this guy. Before I push it down, I'll just see where it's gonna be. Look at that, so sweet. And there it is. You can put a little ribbon on there or just tie it to your gift or however you want to do that. Um, and then I have this one here and I just cut a tag for it and I did the two from just like I did on the other one. Um, just in more subdued colors is like a cream color and some brown. And then I stamped It's Your Day. And what you can do with that one, uh, there's a lot of these little surprise, you know, the birthday girl, all these other ones, is you can cut it out from this little guy. So it makes a little banner for you that has the little dimension, which is always so cute. So I'm just going to tape that down, just eyeballing it here. And where is a little piece of tape? Oh, we'll use a new one. <laughs> so again, just right there. Really sweet, really simple. Nice size for any gift, really. And I'll put this on here. I'll run it through. And now you're probably curious where I put the oil, because as you can hear, silent but like I said it wasn't squeaking here it was here 
<laughs> um, it was just a little vitamin E. You can ask them um, at Diamond Press what they would recommend. I know other people have said, oh, I asked them and they said to use any kind of oils, like even, you know, whatever, this kind of thing. But definitely ask them. And all I did was literally just place a little drop right here. So there's that. All right. Look at that. So cute. <laughs> I really do like the scoring lines because it makes it very, very easy. You know, sometimes um, oh, the dotted line, should I say, um, scores, it, and it depends on the paper you're using. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to find exactly where to score it. So I would just put glue on either side right here and just pop that on there. And just a little sweet tag, a little more subdued. And there it is, guys. So um, the links will be in the description box once the 17th comes around because that's when the items will be available. But for now, you can still use the VCDP code any day. But these newer items it will not be available until the 17th. So whenever you see this video, check the date. Hopefully, we'll be um, good to go. And there it is. So sweet. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now. Thank you.